What's up guys? Welcome back to AC Designs Garage and today's video is a little bit different than what I'd planned on making for this week. I promised you guys that we was going to do the base coat, clear coat and stuff on the bed. Well, let me show you what kind of situation that bed is in. Well, it's in the same situation it was last week. If you watched uh, last week's video and I appreciate all the great comments and views and all the stuff you guys did on this one, she's still looking good sitting out here in the sunshine. Yeah, I promised you guys, I was like, yeah, we're going to get on here. We're going to do the other side, and we're going to do the 2K clear over top of the Rust-Oleum. But here's a little hint why we're not. Yeah, stuff like this happens. So I'm going to go in here and reenact what happened. But yeah, sorry about this, guys. I did promise you I'd do this, and I could not figure out any way to do it with my hand being fired up. But yeah, I'm hoping this coming week... I'm not making any promises because I made a promise and stuff happens, but hoping this coming week maybe we can do this. And a lot of it depends on the weather also because I like doing this stuff. I mean, I've got a shop, but I like doing this stuff outside because a lot of you guys don't have a shop and you can relate. And I can try to help you overcome some of the issues about working outside. And I need to cut my grass too. Anyway, let's get in here and I'm going to give you all a little quick demonstration on why I had this fashionable bandage wrapped around my swole up hand. All right, back in the shop that I still gotta clean up. There's stuff everywhere. But anywho, as a lot of you guys know, and a lot of you guys jumped right on and purchased, I started selling the old uh, Shake Master 4000, and I really appreciate you guys that purchased one of them. Uh, we got six of them out before I got hurt, and uh, these are what hurt me. Well, not the whole finished thing, but parts of it is what hurt me. We'll get into that in a minute. Uh, all these guys, if you want to, uh, go on over to www.acdesignsgarage.com and uh, subscribe to the email list over there. I'm not going to blast y'all with a bunch of junk every day. I can't stand that either. But that way I can uh, basically all this, these emails we're going to do we're gonna, when the video comes out because sometimes YouTube don't send it out for some weird reason. I'm going to be once a week if a video comes or when a video comes out. Uh, when products available or if we have something special come up which is not going to be a lot because I don't have time to shoot emails and stuff all that that's the easy way for you guys to you know be able to find out but we're going to start back on making these again as soon as my hands better I'm hoping in about two weeks or so but or y'all go on there and check see it'll it'll say in stock whatever we have in stock so a lot of you guys really want them and liking them and stuff and sorry it took a little long to get these out because well Make sure you go down in the comments below and thank Daddy for helping me out on that because I hadn't been able to hardly do it. And I was here trying to weld with my hand all bummed up and he was grinding and helping me put all this stuff together and getting them painted and all this. And we got, we got our six of them shipped out. So you guys should be getting them for too long. But now back to the reenactment on what led up to this and not getting y'all the super cool 2K clear video. Although we had to clear not making it up guys we've got it here so we're gonna get on that hopefully next week lord willing and the creeks don't rise and i don't do something dumb again but this is basically going to be a psa a public service announcement on why you should wear gloves and not do stupid stuff so here we go Beer. oh no this is not good oh that's even worse I better go to the doctor. It's kind of how it happened. Also, guys, if you want to scoop up one of these shirts here on the website, also www.acdesignsgarage.com, I'd really appreciate it. It'd help us out. It's got a cool back logo. Death before electric. But anyway, let's get into the reenactment. Just wanted to show you the fine quality t-shirts that we have in stock. All right, I was building the Shake Master 4000. And basically, if you saw the video on how to build them, we use Sawzall blades because it's just easier. This little piece here is hard to cut and get, and this is the piece that hooks into the Sawzall. And it works good. We build off of it. So what I do is, thank the Lord, I have already taken, let me show you the gnarly blades. Here's what they look like beforehand with the very gnarly blades on the bottom. And I just grind them off. And all that good stuff. So thank the Lord that I didn't have that on there because it would have really went bad. So we got these ground off 
later in the evening. I'm getting pretty tired and uh, trying to get these done, get them shipped out. And uh, just stripping the paint where we got a good clean surface so I can get good welds and, you know, stuff's going to work out right like you would. So I start out with a regular old small, my air grinder you've seen me use. Worked okay, just smearing the paint around. We need something faster. So I jump up to the flap attack wheel. It worked pretty good. If I'd have stuck with the flapper wheel, we'd have been okay. But no, I've got the purple devil is what I call it now. But those good purple stripping discs work great. Now we're going to go through a couple rules that you should live by. If you're using the purple devil here, the stripping wheels, they work great stripping paint, I will say. I've used them in a lot of my videos. Both hands on the grinder, and I don't run a lot of guards, and I get flack over that, but with these, all the protection you can get, and a pair of gloves, and clamp stuff to the table. Because I'm going to show you what I did, and it happened so fast. I mean, I've been working in metal shops for 30-some years, and I've never had a bad... I consider this is a pretty bad accident, but I've never had a bad accident. I've been blessed. I can show you up close here. These, you can see these stripper wheels are very porous and they'll grab stuff. And let me get you over here and show you what happened. Now I know as soon as you guys see me do this, you're gonna be like, I know what you did. Yeah, I did it. I can't take nothing but fault for this. It's my own ignorance. I'm sitting here with the blade. I've got my you know, the cover on, no glove on. So I'm sitting here and I'm grinding this and getting the paint off and man, it is working great. Nose hand placement, all this, not clamped to the table. From now on, we'll be putting a C-clamp on this and grinding it. And I still may use this, but I'm grinding away. And if you look right here, you can see a nice little divot. Well, as this thing's spinning 3000 RPMs, when I got out here to this point of grinding, as I'm holding this projectile in my hand, it decided to grab that and therefore thrust it and come out the top side of my hand. I'm not going to show you any of the pictures because I'm not going to grow to you people out. But yeah, that's basically what happened. It went in between, right here, it went in between these two finger bone joint thing tendons and came out eh, probably about that far up here didn't know this part until later so i looked down i was like i don't know where this went daddy found it about 20 foot away i must have slung it out of my hand i looked down i was like oh no this is bad so i get a shop rag and wrap it up and everything and it's you know i'm thinking uh maybe i can get by with tape then i flip my hand over and i noticed there's blood running down my hand from the top and i'm like huh wonder how that got there and i took me another i was using clean rags for once I wiped it off and then blood come back out again. Then I was like, oh, Houston, we have a problem. So therefore, guys, I don't know if a glo glove would have helped some. It would probably still win in because this is like a very bad projectile. And like I said, it was, that thing was spinning. As soon as it caught, it just pow, just knocked my hand back. Yeah, it went up, come through. But thank the Lord above, it could have not went any better if getting a sawzall blade shut through your hands any good but it did it went between i'm gonna use this hand because you can see it it went between these two bones here and come out right beside a blood vein and didn't hit none of it and didn't really bleed that bad that's what happened and that could have been prevented with a c-clamp and i don't know if i would use this on stripping stuff like this i'm kind of gun shy of it now i'll use it on stripping paint but small things because it, it's just asking in these little orifices here. It just caught that unit there and chunked her at about 900 mile an hour into my hand. And that's why we're not doing a nice, fun, clear coat video that you guys like and was looking forward to it. And I apologize for it, but I just couldn't get it pulled off this week. All right, guys. Thank y'all for all the great comments and support. Thanks for buying the t-shirts and stuff and uh, the Shake Master 4000. Make sure you guys subscribe to that email list. Like I said, I'm not going to bombard y'all with a bunch of garbage because I don't like it either. I'm just going to, it's just a place where I can send out one message to all you guys that might be interested in the Shake Master 4000. We're going to get back on them. I'm going to make them. They're going to be in small runs probably because I'm trying to put out a, a video or two a week and make these things is... It gets a little time consuming, but I'm going to try to do like short runs and we might do some 
promo codes and stuff like that later on. So make sure you sign up for that email list. It'll help you out for all that good stuff. And also, guys, very important, make sure you wear your PPE. I'm living proof of it. I can't even wave my hand at you, but yeah, make sure you wear your PPE. It can cost you a lot of heartaches and stuff, and it this could have went a lot worse, like I said. It, it could have messed my hand up before I couldn't have done anything. So I'm going to slow down a little bit. That's the key, guys. Slow down. Don't work tired, because that's what I was. I've been working all day, and it was like 7 o'clock or something at night. So, you know, slow down. Take your time. It takes another day. It takes another day. I mean, this cost me two weeks. But anywho, on a lighter note, just remember, guys, be kind to one another. Jesus loves you, so do we. God bless. We go.